Welcome back to the lab folks. I just got this parcel in uh, delivered by uh, UPS actually by one of their subcontractors to a subcontractor. So let's get into this. This here is a, a LCR meter from East Tester and I tried to buy uh, a secondhand one locally. I can't get much locally here like the nearest place I can go to find anything like that is a two and a half hour drive away. So I try my best. There's, there is a place about an hour away and I they had one up for sale but uh, I got it off them and it didn't work and uh, we're try, I'm trying to negotiate now getting it off them as a fix or repair item. We'll see what happens there. Okay let's get everything out of this bag here or box. Okay here's the device. Let's get it out of this. Okay, there it is. So this is the ET4410. They have uh, various different models. This is kind of like in the middle of their range. It should do me just fine. I don't need any ultra high precision. Now if I do manage to get that one I mentioned, that, that is a, a, a beautiful big Kotec from years gone by. And it has point zero two percent basic accuracy. I think this one's point one, so that's five times more accurate than this. But it's going to be a fix it upper. When I did get that one, I tested it out, and it works. It works beautifully down in the nanofarad range and lower. But once it switches up up into the microfarad range, it, uh, it wasn't giving you anything realistic. Okay, here we got some Kelvin leads here. And they're all twisted around here. Okay, there we go. These are nicely done. Looks like we've got a couple of spare fuses. That's always nice. And a US power cord, or North American power cord, I should say, which was handy because uh, they didn't have the choice when I got this. I got this off of AliExpress, of course. I buy everything off of AliExpress these days. And they didn't have the choice there, but I just contacted the seller and said, could you please put in a, a US plug? And they did. Got it all set up here. I got some capacitors to check out. I've got my little uh, XJW01 LCR meter here. And we're ready to go on this. So let's power it up and see what happens. Well, it powers up. That's good. It's always good when it does that. So I think you press the set here and then you go into the settings menu. So it's set for English and we've got a brightness of 30%. I think I might want a little bit more brightness than that. So. Let's see if I get 70%. There we go. And okay. What we have to do before we do anything else is we have to calibrate these. So I've got this one shorted. So let's try the short calibration first. So you do a short calibration, open calibration. And what they should do is they should run through various tests at all the available frequencies. Now this has only got three different frequencies. So it's going to go through its calibration a lot quicker than this is going to go through its calibration. But anyway, so what we do here is we press this, and I think you have to press it for five or 10 seconds. So it's starting its calibration now, and you'll see it count down through the different frequencies, just like this will do here too. So, Okay, that's the short calibration done. Now they recommend that you do the calibration every time you use the instrument. Now let's start here, the open calibration on this one, open, and then we'll start the open calibration on this one. What I'm gonna try and do is that I'm gonna set this one and this one, this one's already set at one kilohertz, so I'll set this one at one kilohertz too, and that way at least they're operating the same territory. Now you need to select the frequency for the type of capacitor that you're doing, but in this case, since we have such a limited range of frequencies on this, I'll just stick to the one kilohertz for both of them and see if they are comparable at all. So, okay, let's uh, let's get this capacitor here. This here is a 2.2 UF, 100 volt capacitor. Let's see what it makes of it. I've got it in electrolytic mode now and we're getting uh, 1.89 microfarads and 10.8 ohms. We'll try that over here. And 1.906 microfarads and 10.56 ohms. 
So it looks like they're they're agreeing rather well. D is equal to 1.24. What was D over here? 1.212. So yeah, very good agreement. D, by the way, is the, the loss angle. So let's try something different. We'll try a, a little ceramic capacitor here. Okay, so this rushing at uh, 96 nanofarad, and it's a 0.1 capacitor. ESR, 15 ohms. Wow. Let's try something else. This is all new to me. Uh, comparing these two meters. I, I'm used to this one here, which is just really simple. It gives you all the information right there. And there's only a few other parameters that you can bring up. Let's try this uh, type Y capacitor here. So ESR 59 ohms. Let's try this polypropylene film capacitor here. 479 nanofarads. And this one says... 479 nanofarads. Very good agreement with them. Uh, let's try something other than capacitors. Let's look at some coils here. Put it back in auto mode, see if it can pick up the little coils. It's coming up with it as a resistor. 5.5 microhenry. So as we're looking at it as a resistor, uh, so we have to put it into inductance mode here. You probably have to do the same on this one over here. So oh, we've got 5.5 and over here, Let's see if it'll measure it as a resistor or as a inductor. It's gone over to resistance as well. Let's see here. They're not measuring the same on the coil here. They've got the series resistance about right on both of them, but this is measuring it at only 431. It's supposed to be 470. So this one's a little bit high and this one's a little bit low. So we've got this other inductor here. This is actually a little transformer. See what the inductance is on one side of it. 1.55 millihenry. And let's see what it says over here. 1.38. A little bit of disagreement there. All right. And we have another little inductor here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hook onto that properly, but 1 millihenry. It's supposed to be 680 microhenry. Okay, just short this one out. And this one here is a 3300. 2.6. 2.6. So they actually do agree on this. Let me find, let's find a resistor and see what it makes of that. Even in auto mode, see if we can detect what we're doing here. Now this is a 10K resistor and it's coming up at 10.002. That's good. And we'll see what the little XJW makes of it. 10.001. When I get a little bit more knowledge on it, I'll come back, we'll take a closer look at it, or maybe we'll just meet it along the way in testing different components. I've got a lot to learn about it. But uh, there it is. There's a first look at my East Tester ET4410 LCR meter. I uh, hope you got a little bit out of this. It is a nice meter. It's going to fit in well into my lab. And I can then move this one to my other little lab so that I can test components up there as well. Now, I do have those little handy little component tests or things, but you know, sometimes you want to get a better value than what they can produce. And that's why I have these. Okay, folks, thanks a lot for coming out. Uh, we'll see you in the next video, which is going to be on the DC load again. So I hope to have that one up in the next couple of days. I hope that I can get that thing completed in that video, but we still have to go back and find out why the thing uh, shorted out my big battery stack, which has now been put back together and fixed. That's all charged up and waiting to go. So we'll see you in that video anyway. All right, bye-bye, folks.